My name is Andrew Olvested. I just finished my PhD in physics here at UC San Diego. I work in Oleg Spirko's group. The primary focus of our group is to use an X-ray imaging technique to study what goes on inside nanoparticles. And the reason that we're interested in nanoparticles, if you imagine that this is your particle here, is that you have a lot of volume to surface area ratio for bigger particles, like say the things that we're used to in everyday life. And what this means is that the shape of this particle doesn't really matter for how it interacts in various uh, processes. Now, as you start to shrink this to the uh, nanoscale, so you can see that as it shrinks, the surface area actually becomes a bigger, uh, relatively larger to the amount that's enclosed in the volume. And so we use this to exploit uh, the fact that nanoparticles that are, say, shaped like cubes or like uh, uh, diamonds, they actually behave differently for many relevant processes, including you know, the charging and discharging of batteries, uh, the catalytic activity, say, in carbon dioxide reduction. And so this is a very important uh, idea that we can use to tune the properties of particles uh, to do the things that we want to do better. And so we do a lot of initial characterization here at our lab in UCSD where we have a normal lab X-ray diffraction source. That basically lets us figure out the quality of our samples. So do we have particles that are all the same shape and size? Uh, are, the, are the atoms well ordered in these particles? Then we go to a user facility, a, a synchrotron source outside of the Chicago area. And this is one of these big uh, rings that basically is used to produce a very special type of x-rays. And we need these special type of x-rays to see inside what's happening in these nanoparticles as they're in the battery charging or discharging or as they're in the catalyst uh, catalyzing the reaction. Now what we can see inside these particles is we see not only their shape, so we can tell if they're spherical or if they're cube or pentagon for example, but we also see how the atoms on the inside are displaced from their equilibrium positions. So we call this the strain. And so we can see how the strain changes depending on what's happening inside the nanoparticle. The most exciting thing for us is that in perhaps 10 years or so, we're going to have these upgraded synchrotrons that have an even better source of uh, x-rays, which we can use to peer at even smaller particles. So right now, we're limited to about 20 nanometer particles. Although for some more realistic applications, people are going as low as one nanometer, which we can't image yet. So with these upgraded synchrotrons and this very special technique, what we hope to be able to do is build better batteries, better catalysts, uh, make strides in hydrogen storage, and really try and make better devices for uh, relevant uh, technical challenges that we face today.